Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had a great night last night and you're ready to tackle 2018 with the same ferocity as Boris Johnson tackling a small Japanese child. I'm very excited to get the year off to a positive start and it's at times like this where I fall to my knees in gratitude and express my overwhelming thankfulness that I live in such a tolerant, open, safe and diverse continent such as Europe. With a terror threat hanging over Europe, police here in Madrid have stepped up security for New Year's Eve. Measures include a ban on lorries and vans in the center of the Spanish capital during the festivities. Traffic restrictions and the use of metal detectors are part of Rome's festive public safety plan with tight security, notably around the city's main squares. And after falling victim to terror attacks in 2017, London's taking no chances. Amid a fireworks show centered on the London Eye, hundreds of thousands of people will need protecting. Uniformed police officers and covert resources will be working to keep them safe as the new year is ushered in. Germany's on high alert a year after a deadly truck attack on a Christmas market in Berlin. Barricades around the Brandenburg Gate will reassure revelers and there'll be a safe zone for women after hundreds were molested and robbed in Cologne on New Year's Eve two years ago. And Paris will be welcoming in 2018 amid tight security to ensure that celebrations on the Champs-Élysées will be remembered for all the right reasons. Oh. Terrorism won't change our way of life, is what we constantly hear in Europe. Endless repetitions of empty phrases uttered by even emptier politicians and media personalities. But even Stevie Wonder can see through these complete lies, and more and more of the general public will surely be doing the same too. Especially after the astonishing level of police and military security at various New Year's Eve celebrations last night all across Europe. When you can't take your children to watch a simple firework display without having to navigate through security checkpoints and diversity barriers, it must drive things home a little, mustn't it? Oh, and don't forget about the snipers on the rooftops, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Let's briefly look at a few places in Europe and see how they prepared for the big day. Let's start with Paris. France prepares for end-of-year celebrations amid tightened security. With end-of-year celebrations starting this week, the Ministry of Interior has said there will be 140,000 security and military personnel deployed around France to counter any terrorist threats. 140,000! I mean, you could invade a small country with those numbers. <laughs> but this is just for protection, you see. Nothing's wrong, though. Nothing's wrong. Oh wait, a 21-year-old man and a 19-year-old woman with no apparent link but who each planned to commit an attack were arrested last week, respectively near Lyon and the Paris region. The man was planning to attack the military and the woman planned to act in the province, according to a source familiar with the matter. Both were detained, so things may not be going too well in France, but I can't really talk from Britain's perspective, but we'll get on to Britain soon. Ah, Paris, the city of love. The city of lights. The city of... bulletproof walls? Never thought you'd see the day where the Eiffel Tower had to be surrounded by a protective bulletproof glass wall, did you? Well, we're living in interesting times, my friends. Let's just leave it at that. Hang on, I thought building walls was bigoted and racist. What happened to the whole build bridges not walls crowd? Ah, never mind, eh? We won't talk about that. I'm just confused as to why this wall is needed in the first place. I mean, what's the big threat? What's the problem in France? I am baffled. Let's move on to Berlin, shall we? Ah, Berlin. The city of stones. The grey city. The city of... safe spaces? New Year's Eve party in Berlin to have safe zone for women. Organisers of Berlin's New Year's Eve celebrations are to set up a safe zone for women for the first time. Well, we're breaking new ground, aren't we? The new security measures planned for the Brandenburg Gate partly come amid concerns about sexual assaults. A large number of assaults and robberies targeting women at Cologne's New Year's Eve celebrations two years ago horrified Germany. 
Hundreds of women reported being attacked by gangs of men with migrant backgrounds. Uh-oh, you've just said it. Channel strike incoming. <laughs> The events in Cologne heightened tensions in the country over the large influx of refugees and migrants. 1.1 million people arrived in Germany in 2015, some, but by no means all, fleeing violence in Syria and Iraq. Hmm, yes. But the idea of a special safe zone for women at large public events has not been welcomed by everyone. Critics say it does not tackle the perpetrators of sexual violence, while some others complain it is discriminatory. Discriminatory? Against who? Surely not the migrant men. Oh, I see, I get you now. This casts an unfair assumption upon them as a group, I bet. Ah, oh, yeah, hashtag not all and all that jazz. Yes, now I understand. It's better for women to be assaulted, robbed and raped than to appear discriminatory. Gotcha. Let's just brush it all under the carpet and blame toxic masculinity instead. That's always a nice dodge. Aren't men just terrible? Ugh. But yes, joking aside, Germany now has official safe spaces for their women. Because due to their insane open borders policies, they're at amazing risk of being sexually attacked. Brilliant. Congratulations. Diversity is our strength. Golf clap. Golf clap. And just to finish off, let's fly over to London. Oh yes, the old smoke. The big smoke. The big, bloody, sniper rifle on the roof? Smoke? Elite SAS sniper squads drafted in to protect Brit New Year's Eve revelers from terror threat. Special forces soldiers armed with the world's most powerful rifle will be watching crowds from rooftops and helicopters around the UK. The eagle-eyed Brits will be armed with the Barrett Light .50 rifle, which can stop a car from almost a mile away. A source told the Daily Star, snipers have been positioned at key locations to ensure all routes leading to areas like Trafalgar Square are covered. They will be using armour-piercing ammunition and the world's most powerful sniper rifle. Alongside increased police patrols, mobile undercover units will patrol cities ready to track suspicious targets, while an SAS squadron is on standby in London to back up police if necessary. In the past, targets London, Birmingham and Manchester have all had undercover units posing as homeless people with sniffer dogs as pets to remain undetected. And they still beg you for money. <laughs> they're on the take, they are. Moonlighting. Oh my. That's an awfully big gun you've got there, mister. Oh my, my, my. This isn't exactly new information to me. I saw something similar at the Sunderland Air Show last year. Some marksmen found a nice spot on the roof of Morrison's to scout for potential mass murderers. <laughs> How fun. Yeah, we're at a point in Britain now where we need to draft in the SAS to provide adequate security for a bloody fireworks display. We need snipers on the roof to provide cover for you and your kids. We truly are a tolerant and open nation, aren't we? Tolerant of the intolerant and open to being savagely killed, of course. That's what those words really mean, but hey, let's not get bogged down in definitions. Thankfully, there were no incidents last night at any of these major cities, but London did decide to have the last word and provide some finishing touches to 2017 in its own typical fashion. Four young men die in New Year London stabbings. Four young men were killed in stabbing incidents in London amid New Year celebrations, the Met Police said. Three were stabbed on New Year's Eve and a fourth in the early hours of New Year's Day, in unrelated incidents. Another young man stabbed on New Year's Day is in critical condition in hospital. Five men have been arrested over one of the deaths in Larmans Road, Enfield, in which an 18-year-old died. No other arrests have been made. In other incidents, a 20-year-old man was fatally stabbed in Memorial Avenue, West Ham, and a 17-year-old boy was killed in Norwood Road, Tulse Hill, on New Year's Eve. Early on New Year's Day, a 20-year-old man was fatally wounded in Bartholomew Court, Old Street. A second man in his 20s suffered critical stab injuries in the same incident. But, you know, this is just London being London, the little scamp. Oh, what a troublemaker. Hashtag, that's so London. <laughs> I'm making this video because I want to document where we are on the very first day of 2018. I want to make a note of the situation in order to see how much worse it'll inevitably get over the next 365 days. And even though there were no attacks last night, we all know we're in for a turbulent year, not just here in Britain, but across the entirety of Europe. These invasive security measures have already become normalised by the general public, and they will only grow in scale. I don't really have a bigger message for you than that, really. I've talked about all this before, but it's my duty to keep talking about it. We can never allow ourselves to accept this as being part of our lives. We can never allow ourselves to normalise it. 
kids today will grow up and not be able to remember a time where all these things weren't needed at every public event. That is sad. But hey, I hope you have a great 2018, all of you. But let's keep this imagery and information at the front of our minds. Thank you all very much for watching once again, everyone. A relatively quick video today, wasn't it? Thank God. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone who has supported this channel. If you'd like to do so, the link to my PayPal is down below. You can drop off a donation there. As always, massive appreciation to my patrons. Your support for this channel really helps me out in more ways than I can explain. The link to my Patreon is down below if you'd like to contribute. A $5 pledge or more will get you a credit at the end of my videos. Okay, that's it for me today. Enjoy yourselves and take care. Thanks.